Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be reviewing the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. This just launched and it actually sold out, which Thanks, but I got you guys a second one. This one right here is for you guys. I'm giving you a chance to win this palette in case you missed it because like I said, it sold out so quickly. A lot of people didn't get a chance to. So this is for you if you didn't get a chance to buy this palette. I will leave the link down below. The giveaway generator that I used is awesome. It is very fair and all you have to do is just be subscribed to my channel. It'll prompt you to subscribe and then you can get extra entries by following me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and a bunch of other things. So all the rules will be listed down below. Make sure you check that out. I'm so excited to be reviewing this palette today from Kathleen and Morph. The second I saw that this was going up, I was like on the website and made sure I got one because I knew that this was going to sell out super duper fast and it did so i'm so happy that i got one it took a while to get here i would say it took over a week to get here i was waiting for it because i wanted to film this video for you guys and it finally came yesterday saturday in the morning and i actually filmed another look and i didn't have time to like make it into a full youtube tutorial because i was going somewhere so i'm gonna put that on my instagram sometime this week so you guys will be able to see i did a second look with it so this is going to be my review of this palette and i'm also doing this tutorial um this look right here i'll be showing you guys i did the green i did the pretty like plums um and i really like the way it came out and I'm just going to get right on into my review and swatches of this palette. So keep watching if you guys want to see. So this is the box that the palette comes in. It says Kathleen Light. There's these really cute little lights dangling down to represent Kathleen's name, Kathleen Lights, which is really cute. I love how she always incorporates that into all of her collabs. I love how this is different from all the other palettes and how it's really small and it has a magnetic closure. Um, whereas the other Morphe palettes, you guys know what they look like. They're plastic and they have that little snap closure, which sometimes it's hard to open up if you have nails. This is super easy to open up and there is no mirror on here. And the reason for that was to keep the costs down low, which I do appreciate. The only time that um, I would really need a mirror for this is when I'm filming a tutorial and I just wanted to use it quickly. But it's not really that big of a deal because I just reach for other mirrors that I have um, over to the side. Like today I used my little MAC mirror when I was filming this tutorial. So the front of the palette says Morphe and Kathleen Lights on there in a pretty red font, metallic font. And you open it up and you could see oh, gorgeous shades. You get 15 colors in here and I must say that I love all these shades. I've been playing around with this over the past two days and these colors are so great so kathleen did customize six of these shades the rest of them are morphe single eyeshadows or they're from the morphe palette 35f all those all those palettes you guys know about so i'll just go through each of them and kind of do a little description i'll do a swatch and i'll let you guys know which ones kathleen customized so this first shade here, I don't know like the names of these. I think they do have official names. Kathleen says them in her video. But this first color right here, I love this shade. I'm wearing it on my inner corner today. Really shimmery, pretty white color. Um, really creamy, really blendable. And this is perfect for all over the lid. It will be perfect like I wore today in the inner corners. Such a pretty color, great staple in this palette. Then of course, no palette would be complete without a matte brow bone shade. I love that she put one in here. And this is just a standard matte brow bone shade. Um, you know, it's not crazy, crazy pigmented. It's really nice and creamy. Um, but I like that it's not too much because then I feel like it just kind of overpowers the look. I want more of a subtle brow bone highlight. So I do appreciate this shade. Moving on to this third shade right here. This is a gorgeous warm shade, transition shade for the crease. I wore this yesterday. It is just such a nice shade and there is like a little bit of gold glitter in here, but it doesn't come out when you put it on to your eyes. And it's this really, really pretty warm shade. I feel like people will get tons of use out of that for the transition, for the crease. You could put it in the outer corner if you wanted to. I just love that with this palette, I can do so many different looks. Like when I look at this palette, I just think of all the different eye looks that I can create and it just kind of makes me excited. Oh, this fourth shade right here, this is the first color that Kathleen customized. Love this color. I wore this all over my lid yesterday. It is super, super smooth, super buttery. It's like an orangey gold shade. 
absolutely love it. It packs on the lid very, very nicely. This last shade in the top row right here, this is another color that Kathleen customized and made herself. And it's a really pretty bronzy shade. And it is super pigmented. And I love it. It pairs really nicely with this first color here that she custom created. Um, it's shimmery. It's beautiful. It's just like the perfect bronzy shade. Moving on to the second row here. This is a cool brown shade and I definitely would make use of this like in my outer corner. It's a matte shade. Um, it's not too chalky or anything when you swatch it. Just cool tone shade that you can kind of pop on the outer corner for a little bit of added definition. Moving on to this second shade right here. This is such a pretty taupey color. It's a little bit purple, it's a little bit silver, and I just love the way that it swatches and the way that it applies. It's very buttery, very smooth. It would look gorgeous with this first color here, the shimmery shade. So I'm very excited to use this pretty taupe. I love a good taupe. Moving on to the third shade in the second row. I believe this is another color that Kathleen customized in this palette and let's just do a little swatch right here and see this color oh my goodness it is stunning it is this just beautiful gold bronze kind of shade um, it's different from these two right here it's more of a brownish type of gold and this is more of an orangey type of gold up here in the first row but I love this it's super smooth super soft and just one swipe and you get a lot of pigmentation from it this next color right here is another shade that Kathleen customized in this palette and I am actually wearing this today in my crease as a transition shade and I just really love this color. I love this like plummy shade. I think this is perfect for fall. Um, it's a perfect transition crease color. It is a matte um, and it's actually it's really beautiful with this color right here next to it. I, I feel like if you put this color all over the lid and then you pop this into your crease it is just like the perfect full look so I love the way that all these colors kind of pair together and they kind of inspire me to do different looks which I love I love being inspired by an eyeshadow palette this next shade right here I am also wearing I pop this into my crease for some definition this is more of a darker plummy shade um, I just absolutely love this one too it's great for the crease great for um, the outer corner another shade that just screams fall to me like this palette I know I'm gonna be using this throughout the whole month of November because these shades are just like inspiring me and they remind me of like the changing seasons and leaves and all that okay this next shade I absolutely am in love with I'm wearing it all over my lid today it just was like speaking to me as I was looking at it and I just wanted to put it all over my lid for a really pretty like deep green shade it is gorgeous and Kathleen also customized this shade it's just like this beautiful beautiful like mossy deep green with a little bit of brown in it and I absolutely just love it you can see it here and I just think it's a beautiful shade I know some people were saying that the metallics were like crumbly but I didn't find that at all as I was applying it like I said I packed it all over my lid I didn't have any trouble at all with these moving on to the stunner of the palette everyone's like whoa that green is intense yes it is and I love it and I cannot wait to use it um, I wanted to use it today but I figured everyone was going to use that shade so I was like let me do something a little bit different um, but this is the most beautiful jewel emerald green right here and Kathleen also customized this shade this is the last custom shade in the palette um, and this is just a stunning stunning green color sorry I swatched it in like such a random position I'm running out of room here it's just like so nice and so pigmented all right guys moving on to the third shade in the bottom row that is this little guy right here it is a matte brown tan shade and it is just another really pretty crease color um here it is you can see i swatched it on my arm and you know it's not chalky or anything like that it's a really great color just kind of like would pair really nicely with um, this shade right here or this shade right here this color in the palette is something that I am definitely not used to I don't think I've worn a color like this, but it's cool. It's like this strange kind of brownish Green type of shade. I don't know how else you would describe it It's definitely an interesting color that you can pop into your crease 
definitely interesting. Um, I don't own anything like this, but I'm excited to try it out. And then moving on to the last shade in the palette, it is just a staple matte black. This is great to smoke out any look. You can smoke out any of these shadows with this. You could put it on your lower lash line. I actually was going to do that today with this look, but then I took it off because it just didn't look good. So, And I just think it adds to any look. Um, it would look great paired with this green right here. Um, you know, it's just like a staple to have in a palette. And I appreciate the fact that she put like the basics in here as well to pair with looks. Overall, I absolutely love this palette. I am super impressed with the quality of this. This is only, like I said, my second palette from Morphe. I have 35N and I really do like that palette, but I'm actually even more impressed with the quality of these shadows. Um, I really think there's so many looks that you can get out of this. Um, and I just love like the pops of color, the warm tones, the fact that she put cool tone shades in here as well. And I love the custom shades that she created. I think they are so fun. And I just feel like her whole kind of personality fits into this palette. It's just one of those palettes that you don't really have to struggle with. Sometimes some shades can be a pain in the butt to blend. These are not at all. I really, really love it. I think Kathleen did an awesome job. I forgot to mention the price of this. This is $14, which is like so good for all the shades that you're getting. That price is amazing and I love that it's affordable. So that is my full review of the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. I hope you guys liked my review. Um, I just love this palette so much and I am going to get right on into the eye look that I created and it's this look right here that I'm wearing. So if you guys want to find out how I did this look, then you can keep watching and don't forget that you can enter to win the eyeshadow palette from Kathleen because I got an extra one for you guys. So make sure you enter using that link down below. Like I said in the beginning of the video, everything will be down there and that's it. Good luck you guys. To start off, I'm going to be taking this very plum shade and I'm going to be taking a fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to be moving this back and forth into my crease in a windshield wiper motion just blending it into my crease as a transition shade then I'm going to be taking this gorgeous gorgeous green shade right at the bottom and I'm gonna take my shader brush and I'm just going to pack this onto my lid and I'm stopping where my crease ends so I'm just packing that all over the lid Then I am taking this darker plummy cranberry shade and a smaller crease brush to just add some definition into my crease and I'm going back and forth and then I'm kind of also working it into the outer V of my eye. Then I'm going to take this matte brow bone highlight shade and I'm just going to pat that onto my brow bone and blend out everything. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Tardis Clay Paint Liner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners, and I'm just going to be creating a wing and then filling that in, and then I'm going to work towards the inner corner of my eye to fill it in. You can see here I had such bad fallout on the side of my face, but I did go back at the end of the tutorial and cleaned it up with a BB wipe, so all is good. Then I'm going to be taking this Prestige Total Intensity Eyeliner in Outrageous Emerald and I'm going to be applying that to my waterline. And then I'm using my Essence Lash Princess Mascara and I'm just coating about two coats to my lashes with this. I'm going to be applying these Cara number 48 lashes. I love these lashes. They are beautiful. I found them in my draw. These were so easy to apply. I'm definitely going to be purchasing more of these off Amazon. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. All 
Alright you guys, that is my full review and my tutorial for the Morph Kathleen Light palette. I love this so much, like you guys couldn't tell I was saying the whole time in this video that I just really love this palette. And I'm so excited for you guys to win one of these, so make sure you enter down below. There will be a link. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.